My name is Khalifa Mudisa. I am from Botswana, from Gaborone. I've been suffering from chronic back for the past 10 years. I've been in pain. I'm booked for surgery tomorrow in India. I decided to come to Prophet Kakande Ministry before I leave for India. <laughs> These are my medical report who shows that I've been suffering for this chronic back and uh, disc prolapse. We are looking at this medical report from Village Imaging that is in uh, Gaboroni, Botswana, which belongs to Sister Modisa Talefang. And here they did an examination on her because she has been complaining of chronic back pain with pain radiating to both lower limbs. And when they did this examination, she was diagnosed with degenerative spondylodiscopathy with prolapse and severe nerve root pressure at L4, L5 bilaterally. And she has also got disc degeneration with prolapse and severe nerve root pressure at L5, S1. This was confirmed by Dr. Patrick Mosana, the consultant radiologist. This one is a medical report from Wohad Hospitals in India. You can see it is dated 24th December 2022. Written to whomever it is to concern to inform you that Mrs. Talefang Modisa, the lady right here, is a citizen of Botswana and is scheduled to arrive in India on the 2nd of January. 2023 for detailed evaluation followed by lumbar decompression and she's due for fusion surgery at Wohad Hospital in India under the care of Dr. Mozda Toro. This was confirmed and written to her by the head of international business for Wohad Hospitals in India. This is the anointing. Put your hands. See the reaction in her body. The man of God has given her this bottle of anointing oil. Watch, every part of her body is yielding to this special power of God in this anointing oil. She's shaking against her will. The back, the limbs, every part of her body is touched. The spiritual operation is going on for her right now. Remember, she was due for a physical operation in India. The Holy Spirit himself is working upon this lady who cannot rise up. She cannot walk. She cannot bend. She cannot do anything because of the severe pain in her back for this period of four years. The Lord will determine when she will rise up to walk. Watch, brethren. Watch, brethren. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to Jesus. See what Jesus has done for her. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. She's removing the lumbar corset. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Thank you, Lord. I come from Botswana. I came here with the problem of this prolapse, which I couldn't walk. When I came here in the morning, I came here limping. I came here yesterday with this lady. I met them in the plane. I told them that my sister, I was booked for India. So I decided to come to meet the man of God before I can go for the surgery, which is booked for the second. Man of God gave me this bottle of anointing. I find my body shaking uncontrollably. I couldn't control myself. Right now, all the pains that I had in my body, I can't feel anything at the moment. I can bend. She's bending. Sit. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey. Glory be to Jesus. the steps we have to handle like this and it was telling us you know what I was supposed to go to India but the fact that 
I wanted the man of God to touch me. I'm telling you, I'll be healed. I said, ah, you, I don't think so. Look at the report. My name is Malibu Homaja from Botswana. Mm. Yes, we came together. We arrived very early in the morning. The whole time she was telling us, I've been booked for an uh, operation in India, but I believe where I'm going, I'm not going to go for the operation. Okay, how much were you going to pay in India? Men of God, the bills is there. I was going to pay 14,700 in USD. I just want to feel what are you a woman be. You want to do what? I want to know are you a woman be. I've been watching you through you. Hey. <laughs> the man of God is not empty. You know, even when we are sitting here, we said we have been seeing all this thing on the phones, on the YouTube, but finally we are here. Who oh, won't touch me? <laughs> Now, how are you feeling? I don't have any pain, man of God. I couldn't okay. do it. Get part of oil, pour it on yourself small and see what will happen again. Brethren, watch. Open your eyes. See what is happening to Sister Modisa. She has taken just a bit of this anointing oil and anointed herself. See the way she's touched. Now, how are you feeling? I was having those pains in my heart. As I pour the oil, that pain is gone. I can't feel any pain. I'm healed in Jesus' name. I'm healed. I'm healed in Jesus' name. I thank God for my healing. Go, you are free. I came here just to death. This envelope is full of death, even accommodation. I came here without even paying them. I told them, I'll see you when I come from God. You, you because pay. I was booked from India, I was not supposed to come here. Even the medical people, they called me yesterday. The office, give me $500. <laughs> to the building of this place, we are helping others like her to be healed. Yes? But this is a blessing, to let others get healed, get blessed. Yes? And this is the work of God. To go be the glory. Now this is the five hundred dollar you can pay your bills. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. I appreciate this. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Go, you're free. Surely, the anointing broke the yoke in the life of Sister Mudisa all the way from Botswana. This is a lady who was due for a back surgery in India on the second day of January 2023. She is the very lady now seen here at the Kakande Ministries on the very day she was meant to have a surgery while she's testifying, jumping and dancing and giving glory to God only two days after the prayer. Thank you, Jesus. My name is Kadefan Mujisa. I come from Botswana. I came here with the problem of this prolapse. I could not walk on my own. I was limping. I had pains all over the body. I was using a lumbar cross that I was putting on my back to support me. As you can see today, I couldn't walk the way I can. I couldn't even lift my legs like this. I couldn't do anything at all. I couldn't even bend. Right now, I can do anything. Well, Sister Modisa, she can now bend and do this exercise. I can walk now freely. I can run. I'm going back to my sports. I was an aerobics instructor. I couldn't do this. I'm going back to my life that I used to do. Thank you, Jesus. When the man of God gave me the anointing oil, I find my body shaking. I don't know what was happening. I tried to control myself, but I was shaking, shaking, shaking until I find myself up and healed. I've been not sleeping all along, but I have, ever since I came from deliverance, I've been sleeping in peace. I've been going through death, 
the man of God blessed me because I came here without even having money for the hotel. The man of God blessed me with 500. I managed to pay the hotel. Where do you come from? I come from Botswana. Okay, speak in Botswana language. But when we talk about the land, we are not only talking about what we are talking about. We are talking about the land we are talking about. The land we are talking about is the land we are talking about. We are talking about the land we are talking about. We are talking about the land we are talking about. We are talking about the land we are talking about. We are talking about the land we are talking about. For almost four years now, I couldn't even drive my car. No kwaesa neke sa kona ku kwaesa kolo ineke kwaedi wo neke sa kona ku dirasepe neke sa kona ku jima neke sa kona ku dirasepe ku telele lele lele ken na hela mo stilo hakeli mo kishini neke kopa stilo ebe ken na ho kika pel hakeli la kasa chare kiti la hakeli la ke kotsa ke seredi zo mire la kama na muzi mo ati na ha angkotsa. I'm part of an Indian oil. Kila ka uta melo ame uti kinya ka hela tata mo nengas ke ka kona ko la ol. Kila ka polo ame ho iti le. I can kila ni ano ke kona ko samai. Kila ta bo. Kila bo ka buti. Kila bo ka buti. Whatever the Lord. What is your job in Botswana? I'm working as a, an executive assistant. I was even about to be laid off work because of this disease. Because my job's entail sitting down all the time, working on a computer. So I couldn't do that. I was always on my bed to perform my duties. This has really affected me, men of God, financially. The stagnation in my family, in my children, I, at my age of 48. I can't even get married, man of God. It has been so hard. My mother is also sick because of every disease. It is over. Amen! Whatever the Lord did, he'll do it again. Signs and wonders, he'll do it again. Whatever the Lord did. Like he raised Lazarus from the dead. 